Hey everybody, welcome uh, back to uh, Mill City Roasters in Northeast Minneapolis. One of the pieces on your roaster that you should be thinking about pretty normally every day, I'm gonna say, is your roast air fan. And then the areas in the ductwork or the chaff can right around the intake for the roast air fan and the outtake for the roast air fan. The roast air fan tends to be the part of your roasting system that gets the dirtiest, or gets dirtiest the quickest, or gets the most build up the quickest. You know, I mean, it's the thing that needs the most attention in general, needs the most service, needs to be kept the cleanest, because it's so important to keep your roast air consistent from roast to roast to roast. That's why we manage our roast air system, roast to roast to roast. But if our fan itself is running at a slower rate or is impeded so it doesn't move roast air as much, that's an important piece of our puzzle to make our cups consistent, clean, and keep our roaster happy and running well for many, many years. So one of the things I like to do, um, every so often just periodically diagnose where we're at with the roast air fan and those inlet parts of the duct and post uh, parts of the duct. It's really simple, really quick. Well, I guess it depends on your system and your duct work. Um, if you have flex ducting with duct tape, it's gonna be problematic because you're probably gonna have to get rid of your ducting every time. But that's part of, the, part of the reason why you should have a nice setup for your duct system. Ducting isn't something that you should go cheap on or save a lot of money on. It actually is unsafe and it's way harder to clean and keep consistent uh, airflow for a cup of coffee, for a consistent um, cup. So we, we, use, uh, we use our own custom made duct setup, um, which is kind of interesting because on the next machine we're gonna look at, it's our new one and a half K lab roaster. It actually comes with a bunch of duct work and that's kind of the challenge of today. So we're gonna look at our regular setup here and we're basically, what I would do is just pop off the clamps. So we got a couple clamps. This is the out duct from the roast air fan. So it allows me to see kind of into the roast air fan and diagnose right off the roast air fan, how dirty and things like that. Well, with this setup here, I just gotta pop the clamp right here take it apart. And this is maybe the, one of the, if not the highest place that you're going to see buildup in your roast air system. So that's why I'm diagnosing this is this is a place where I'm going to see the buildup first and foremost, and it's going to impede the airflow and become a, a problem for my, for my roasting and for my cup. So I can take that off. I take this off and then bam, right there. I can take this duct off and look in there. You can only see there's about, I don't know, I guess you could maybe see the difference there. There's about that much buildup. So we're talking about a mil and a half. So a little bit, it's on the inside of the duct, which is where I would normally see it. That's where it slows. So it's going to drop some sediment. It's going to move a little faster on the outside of the duct. So then I can say, okay, that's not bad. I might take my brush and clean that off. That, that might save me from a little extra buildup. Buildup slows the air and creates more buildup. So once you see buildup, you're going to actually get more buildup as it continues on at a faster rate. So now we're going to look in here and just diagnose what we got going on. There is an ability with a couple bolts there I could detach and then get a better viewpoint in there. But I feel comfortable being able to see at this point, nothing's really that bad. I don't really even need to really get my brush. I probably would use my brush and just clean off that little bit of buildup right there, but not a really big deal. So I feel good about this. Roaster system seems like it's running healthily. Okay, now this is our standard Mill City machine. Now we're going to cut to our new one and a half K and I'm going to show you how we diagnose it on the new system. So now we're over here on the non-operator side of the one and a half kg. Um, you can see it's a tabletop roaster, so it's on its own table. Um, it's not on legs. But with this roaster, you can see it's a little different if you know our 1K or a 500 gram or our 2K. We can see now, this is the cooling tray. We have a cooling tray line that comes standard with the machine. This is also our normal chaff can, but you can see it's a little bit more robust. And then there's a duct that connects the chaff can to the roast air fan. And then we also have this joint here on top that's where the two roast airs go together. So then basically with the machine comes all the way up to this point. So then this, this actual duct setup for roast air fan, for cooling tray and for chaff can all coming together will just connect to basically the duct coming in from your termination point outside. You connect those up together and then you're good to go. So with this machine comes basically, I'd say half to a two thirds of your duct setup for your roaster. So it's really nice. But with that comes basically a new, we need to kind of problem solve the way to diagnose this roast air chaff can system because it's a little bit different than the previous um, duct setups that we, we design that go with our other machines. So together we're gonna do that. You can see I have a few tools laid out. We're not doing a cleaning here. This is a diagnosis. And if there is a little buildup in there, I'll just scrub it off with a brush. There's gonna be no heavy buildup, no creosote, nothing like that we're gonna work on today. We're just cleaning up like, perforations in the chaff can, build up in the chaff can, build up in a little bit of the duct work. So I got a few of my brushes here that I might use if we need to do a little scrubbing. First thing we're gonna do, is we're gonna detach this duct right here. All right, so I got that one off. So we can set that one aside and then we'll take this one off too. And that'll allow us 
to basically look down in there. Because our only access panel to the chaff can is right here, and then back here is actually where the roast air fan comes out. You know what I mean? And this is the place right here that we really want to look at and see how things are going, but also the inside of the cylinder right here. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to attach this tube here, detach this off of here and this, unscrew these, and then take this off so that we can look down in there and look at the cylinder itself. Okay, there's a couple of silicone seals in there you don't want to lose, so I'm just going to pull that off. Um, yeah, so that's also a place you want to look. Nothing. We got no buildup in there at all. Okay, I think I'm going to un undo the bolts first since it's uh, stable here. Probably doesn't make a lot of sense to undo the bolts with it being loose because you just never really know how loose it'll be. Okay, so now I've got all the threads or, or all the bolts out of right here, and so now I'm just going to attach up here. This is our standard ductwork up here, so it shouldn't be too complicated. Just going to leave that right there, attach that right there. No, so now I can just pull this right out. So that's really nice. Uh, that looks great. Totally clean, no seal there, so it's no worry there. Oh, look at that, all clean, very good. So not a big deal at all. That's great. Well, now we're going to use this paint scraper, and we're going to actually separate this little seal right here. Oh, yep, it's really easy. And then it looks like we can just pull this cylinder right out. Oh, no, that's really cool. Whoa, it went in my coffee. Okay, so yeah, really great. Now we can clean that, take that back down to metal. That's excellent, because that's really helpful. It's not really that dirty anyways, but now we have full access to this. This is looking excellent. So now I can perfectly see basically right through the problem area that I was worried about. And there is a little buildup. I'm seeing about maybe a millimeter of a ridge that's kind of impeding airflow. But now if I look, I can look all the way into the fan blades and I can see the fan blades and they're not covered at all. There's just a slight discoloration of like smoke colored like air that's touched it and tinged it a little bit yellow. But other than that, it looks perfect. It's not impeded at all. And there's hardly any impediment at all. So this is great. So I'm gonna take my little brush. I'm gonna use a metal one. The metal one's a little bit easier. And I'm just gonna scrape off a little bit of a like, it's like a snow drift, a little drift of, of fuzzy dust. And that's basically all I have. And then that's gonna also make it so that that, that, that won't occur as quickly moving forward. Um, and then I'm gonna take this brush and actually I might even use my drill because this, is, this makes it a little easier. And then I'll just clean this all up really nicely. And then I'll put this back in. Um, this probably won't take me, but five, 10 minutes max. And then I'll be confident knowing that my roaster system is healthy, confident that my cups will be consistent and clean. And then I don't have to worry too about my machine being overworked or overused or potentially dangerous for fire. New one and a half K lab roaster, really easy to take apart and diagnose the roaster system, the chaff can and the roaster fan. We'll see you guys next time.